Washington is just basically a sewer. There's people down there that their number one priority is not the United States of America. But the vast majority of people uh, are all for, you know, what they can do, you know, what they can gain, how much money they can make. And, uh, you know, it's really, really, really uh, something that finally we have a chance to do something about it if we elect Donald Trump. You know, I've known Donald for 40 years. He's a good human being. He's a great patriot. But the the Clintons, I mean, that's uh, that's a crime family. Basically, it's like organized crime. I mean, the Clinton the Clinton Foundation is a cesspool, and uh, we don't have enough time to talk about all the things they've done. You know, screwing people, Haiti, and basically the public in general. I mean, it's just outrageous how Hillary Clinton sold her office for money, and. Uh, She's a pathological liar, and she's always been a liar. Oh. God forbid if we uh, we put someone like that in the White House, I, I tell you. You know, I know Anthony Weiner, and he's a real, real low life. I mean, I can't, you know, it's unbelievable. This investigation was never a real investigation. That's the problem. They never had a grand jury impaneled. And the reason they never had a grand jury impaneled, I'm sure, is that Loretta Lynch would not go along with that. So this investigation was without the ability to serve subpoenas, uh, serve search warrants, and obtain the evidence that uh, you know they were ended up begging for. I mean, it was just ludicrous what went on. You know, they left so much stuff on the table. You know, cases of conspiracy and destruction of uh, of uh, evidence and uh, obstruction of justice and uh, perjury. I mean, it just it's a legend. So what this new information is, John, could it possibly be worse than the 24 top secret documents that she had on the server? Could this information be worse than that? I mean, in World War II, people were executed for disclosing top secret code word information. And never mind all the other uh, uh, federal laws that she potentially violated. Rudy Giuliani, uh, you know, who's the former obviously mayor and but but always also U.S. attorney, you know, said there's at least 12 federal statutes that uh, the prima facie case is in the public domain. That this is not the FBI agents <laughs> who's who's uh, to blame for this fiasco that's going on. You know, this is the leadership. This is Jim Comey. This is his deputy director who has absolutely no common sense and no integrity. You know, they went and had a meeting with the governor of uh, Virginia while he was uh, the subject of. Uh, an investigation. I mean, it's crazy what's going on. It's the, the it's these guys at the very top. It's not the agents. The agents are furious with what is going. On. I mean, they flooded this country, as Comey said. They have cases in every state of the union, and of course, Obama's letting you know letting him in, letting people in by the hundreds of thousands that we have no clue who they are, no vetting whatsoever. People that want Sharia law, people that do not agree with our constitution, never will never will assimilate it into our society. And, and the fact that we have an open border is just the craziest thing in the world. No legitimate company, uh, country has an open border that just anybody in the world can come in. Look at what's happening with our youth today. We've always had a drug problem. But now the heroin epidemic is widespread across the United States. You know, it's coming across the border like, you know, like Grant through Richmond. Uh, you know, Obama has basically told the Customs Service and the INS and the Border Patrol not to do their job, not to enforce the federal laws. These jobs are being taken by illegal aliens, you know, and they're on welfare and they're on Obamacare. And, you know, they're treated better than the veterans that have fought in wars for the United States. So enough of this. We cannot survive. Our culture has been degraded to a great extent. And we cannot survive as the United States of America as we know it. Uh, with four more years of this kind of uh, politics. Now, the United States as we know it, of course, I'm a patriot. I may have a different opinion than some people that, that don't like our way of life and don't like what we're all about and don't like our Constitution. But this is a critical, critical election. And uh, Donald Trump's the only one you can vote for. You know, he hasn't been a criminal. He hasn't been lying about everything. He's a decent human being with a great family, with a great work ethic. He's as smart as a whip. And he will drain the swamp in Washington and get us back to where we need to be.